Yo, what is up guys? It is Dill the Legend here, and in today's video I'm going to be showing y'all how I get a lot of Indo very fast. Um, you can only do this once a week. I mean, it's not the most efficient way, but it will definitely get you a lot of Indo. I mean, um, you get like a little statue here, uh, and you fill that up with like three stars, and bam, you got a uh, I got a thousand and four hundred Indo. It can change depending on what stars and stuff you have. But here we go over to uh, Maru's Bazaar, and you click there, and then you click I'm ready, and then bam, uh, this is on Mars, and yeah, this chick will just send you into the void, and this is where you pretty much complete it. Now, I would recommend you have some sort of speed on your character. I had to do that. I had to get a mod uh, rush. And I maxed that out to where I could just run super fast through this because it is kind of timed because there will be a door they'll shut behind you. But um, yeah, this is how I do it. Just run through here very fast. Just kind of ignore the enemies. There will be these little barriers that will pop up and stuff to kind of get in your way and slow you down. So uh, and you might have to run through this multiple times. I had run through about four times till I actually got this right. I was recording all um four times this is the fourth time I did it and I finally got it correct so yeah you just run through here and I mean um this is my first time actually doing it I don't know if it changes the map at all but yeah this is this is how I do it just run through here very very fast uh and you will get there you gotta get there before the door shuts uh there is lasers and stuff that you can run into but don't get mad and like give up if you mess up like your first few times because I guess it could be hard. I mean, I suck at doing like the whole parkour deal and stuff going fast. See, I got tackled here. Like, what the heck? So try not doing what I did back there. You can make like a few mistakes, but not a lot. See, there was a barrier that just popped up right there. And that definitely did slow me down. But at least in the end of this recording I actually got through see there's the lasers I was talking about then bam this is pretty much where all the parkour sets in you have to do that so and also you might not be familiar with the map so if this is like your first time doing it uh, I, I wouldn't be surprised if you don't get it your first time maybe not even your second time but yeah I got it in four times, so don't be mad if you messed up like three times and got it, because you did better than me, all right? And then, bam, there's a door. You can see it's closing, and I made it in just in time. Got that statue, and now all you have to do is extract, and that's pretty easy. You can go around. I didn't do it in this recording because I didn't know, but I've seen other people do it. Uh, there's little cyan stars placed around, so you can go and get those, and I'll help you. Um, so you might want to go check those out because it's not timed to extract or anything so you could just go exploring around killing the enemies if you want to just don't do that at the very beginning because you have to rush before that door closes or else you are doomed so yeah that's how you do it really um i hope this really like helped you guys uh here we're at extraction now and yeah uh you got that statue you can go and back to maru's barzar and you can say you want to sell that statue for endo but i really really wouldn't recommend that what you do is you go into your mods uh, on your orbiter and or your ship however you want to call it i call it my ship usually but it's really called the orbiter but you go in there and then you have your little mods there and i'll say ion sculptures you go and select the sculpture you just got and you put all the science stars in it and once you have all the stars you can put in all those slots it will boost it so much it's it's better than selling them all individually if you just put them on the statue you'll get a ton of endo that way really fast it only took me like four minutes five minutes or so to do that so yeah it's it's also kind of fun to do as well so yeah see you just and you can go up there and say extract endo from my stuff and you could extract endo from that but see it's worth 400 there and the stars are worth like 100 or so each if you were to sell them individually you'd only get probably like 600 endo when you could be making more than twice that much if you just install them onto the sculpture so just do that and i hope this video helped you guys and peace out